As teachers, we mark all the pages with each child's symbol, and that's how they recognize their painting spot. They all have their own painting cloths. And um, so we set all that up ahead of time. We soak the paper. We get the jars ready and put the pigment inside the jars. We mix up our paint fresh because what we use is natural pigments that have no preservatives. And once they are mixed with water, we do need to keep them cool and refrigerated so that they stay fresh. Then once the children come in, if we're telling a story, they all gather around and watch the, ch the teacher paint as she tells a story. And a little bit of yellow from the fallen leaves on the ground. And I have some new blue sky for the page. So the brush went into the blue. Once that story is done, then she ends the story with everyone may find their symbol and wait for their brush. And so then they find their symbol, they find their place at the table, and then they make their long sleeves short if they're wearing long sleeves, and they wait, and one of the teachers will hand them a brush, and then they get started, and they go into the water, onto the napkin, into the color, and on the page, and that's where the magic sort of happens because once that color first touches the page and the page is wet, so then the paint just flows and moves. It has its own process. And all the children are doing is helping that process along and feeling the paint move on the page and dancing ever so lightly and ever so gently across the page, filling the whole page with color. And it's just, they go somewhere while they do it, and it's just really neat to watch. So one of the things that we uh, really subscribe to here is the notion that when children are learning through living, a term or a phrase that we use here frequently, it really speaks to, again, what we're looking to cultivate in the child. And that's really accomplished through the really practical, day-to-day -day living. It does so much for cultivating a sense of autonomy, capability, it does so much help the child feel a sense of I can and I'm able and I can do this and so it's presented in a way that each child is really being asked to do what we know he or she can do based on their age and their development that we're only asking of them what we know they really can do so three four even five steps the age of a five or four or five year old is entirely doable we just make sure we give them the opportunity to do that <laughs>